I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial, no hate can keep me down No matter what my haters say I proudly rep both of my races today I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial and no hate can Salam alaikum YouTube and good morning it's your angry biracial back with another video. Y'all know how I do. I gotta keep my foot on the necks of these modern males 24-7. Man, I'm tired, boss. Dog tired. I have not had my cup of coffee yet. So I'm a little bit slow this morning, so bear with me. That being said, go ahead and grab your favorite drink, some popcorn, sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. That was hard to watch. Not only did he assault her, he did it in front of her child and while she was holding her child. He doesn't care for her safety or that child's safety. And I truly believe that most modern males today don't give two craps about their children. That they are just pawns that they use against the mother of their children. Another way for them to exert power or dominance or influence. Another way to try to control the woman by using her children against her. Why else would you as a modern male who is in a violent rage act that way in front of your child? Let alone pick your child up while you're struggling to control your fragile ego and emotions. And if seeing that a woman get abused wasn't bad enough, all the modern males and pick Misha's that were in her comment section asking her what does she do to provoke him? Society has lost her collective minds. No amount of provoking warrants that. The victim blaming is insane. People will go to any lengths to coddle and worship the modern male and then have the nerve to wonder why modern males act the way they act. They are a bunch of entitled, whiny, coddled, violent, Brats, and every single time a violent, abusive modern male sees people essentially co-signing his abuse, you empower him. Those of you that victim blame and excuse his behavior are just as guilty as the abuser himself. I'll beat the fuck out of you right now how I feel. I really mean that. Leave me the fuck alone. Shut the fuck up. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't give a fuck. Leave me the fuck alone. Because you're mad about stupid Leave. shit. You're mad about stupid shit. You're yeah. mad about stupid shit. Can we talk about it, nigga? You mad about stupid Ooh, shit, nigga. Away from me. I ain't backing away from shit. You look out, man. <laughs> bro, I'm telling I'm about to beat your ass, bro. For real. For real. For real. Like that ass here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Like like that serious. Stop talking to me, nigga. <sighs> Y'all smell that? That smells like pure zest. It's always the most zestfully clean dudes. The ones that feel so comfortable being trapped in the closet. That act like this with a woman. That want to buck up and get in a woman's face. That want to argue all day online with a woman. That feels some type of power by threatening and trying to square up with a woman. I don't know why modern males think this shit is cool. That they are somehow empowering themselves by threatening and squaring up with a woman. There is nothing manly about that. And all you are doing is exposing yourself for the zesty punk that you are. Do you consider it to be cheating or do you sort of classify it as something else because it's not a woman? I don't know what I classify it as. I can't, I really, 
I know we like to put things in boxes, but I can't with this. Can't really put it in a box because I don't even know why that desire is so intense. And it's not. And it's not like I'm an odd duck. There's a lot of married guys that seek out pleasure from guys. I've had guys meet up with me who are 60 and 70 years old. 70? 70. Wow. And they, are, and they are just fine. They are, we have a very satisfying time. Wow. And modern males are steady wondering why women choose the bear. This is a married man. Old Bobby the Grandpa Slayer. Mr. Still Your Grandpa is out there cheating on his wife with other married men. And somehow in his warped modern male mind, he doesn't consider that cheating. To him, it's just bro time. It's crazy to me how he won't admit that this is cheating. How he says he doesn't want to put this into that box. But yet he still does it behind his wife's back. His wife is unaware of what he's doing with grandpa. If it's not cheating, then tell your wife. But that would take accountability. And we all know that accountability is like kryptonite to modern males. But it gets worse. Do you identify as gay or bisexual? I actually, I know this is going to sound crazy. I don't identify as either. I just, I just identify as straight. I... I do enjoy women. I enjoy the way they feel, the way they smell, the way the way they make love and how and all of that. But sometimes I get just a really intense craving to be around a guy. And not just be around a guy, but to to feel him, to hold him, you know, to have him on top of me, to have me on top of him, pretty much is just sexual. It's not like I'm seeking a, a, a romantic romance with this person. And so that's what makes finding married men so much easier because they're not looking for a relationship at all. They, they have a relationship with their wives, just like I have a relationship with my wife. It's crazy the rationale and mindset of these modern males. But what he said and the way he said it reminded me of this. We need to start advocating for men who want to be with men. I understand the impulse, brothers. I do. It's crazy how far in the closet these dudes want to be. They want to actively and secretly have intimate relations with other men while being married to a woman, risking her health, her life, and her sanity, all so they can stay in the closet and not be called what they really are. It's 2024. If you're a man who likes other men, that's called being gay. Be proud of who you are. And people will respect you for living in your truth. Instead of using and abusing a woman to hide who you are from the rest of the world at her expense. You have her thinking that you are the man of her dreams. All the while, you're someone else's girlfriend. The amount of mental and emotional abuse that you are subjecting that woman that you claim you love to, all so you can slay somebody's grandpa, is beyond disgusting. But there's more. You identify as straight. You, I guess, yeah. always knew that you wanted to marry a woman. But when you married your wife, were you still sleeping with men or was there a period when you first got married that you hadn't been with any men? There was a period that when we first got married from, I say for about five or six years, maybe seven years when we were, when we were starting a family that I did sleep with men. Was I your, was your intention lot. to just stay married, stay faithful and never see other men? Or did you th always right. think that it might pop up again in your life? Well, you know, I, I didn't really think of it that way. I just thought, you know, I, I enjoy my wife. We're, we're building a family. We're having kids. Uh, the feelings, the emotions, the attractions that I'm having, I will just deal with them and lay them aside. And so for seven years, I did. 
But then we moved out of the area where we were to uh, a whole nother town. And that's when I discovered the Craigslist ads. And from that day on, I, I would have, I've always had jobs that gave me the freedom to work at home. So it was very easy to have the house to myself, you know, maybe three or four days a week, maybe, you know, maybe five days a week. And if I knew I was going to have it five days a week, you know, and if I was really feeling needy, I mean, we could, I could see four or five guys. In a, in a, in five days, you mean? In one day. Oh, oh in one wow. day. And this is happening in your own home? It's, it, yeah, it's happening in our home. The Grandpa Slayer was knocking them back. Four or five different grandpas a day. And these are all other married men. He specifically seeks out other married men like himself. Clearly, this modern male doesn't care about infecting his wife. Or the pure, utter disrespect of doing this in their own home. And as men, we know that if we buy a house... It's our wife that makes it a home. That that home is her domain. Supposed to be her place of safety. The place where she can let her hair down and be herself with the people that she loves and cares about. And for you to violate the sanctity of that home so you can dishonor her, dishonor your marriage, and fulfill your disgusting fantasies is freaking nuts. No pun intended. How can you claim you love your wife when you constantly disrespect her like this? When you are constantly playing Russian roulette with her health, with her life, because you are too selfish and too cowardly to let her go, let her make the choice, let her be happy so you can live your truth. And yet so many modern males still have the nerve to wonder why women are choosing the bear. I'm going to end this video here. I'm trying to make my videos a little bit shorter, so bear with me. But before I go, you know I gotta shout out my new book, Kang, A Story of Survival. If you enjoy the content and the topics I talk about here in my channel, then you will definitely enjoy this book. It's currently open for pre-order on Amazon.com. So do yourself a favor and pre-order it now. Be one of the first to read my new book in July. But if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and share. All those things help a small growing channel like mine grow faster. And if any of my commentary or any of the clips that were shown in this video triggered you or made you feel some type of way, let me know in the comment section. I really enjoy reading your comments and interacting with y'all. But most of all, know your angry biracial loves you. Stay safe and peace. It's angry biracial.